That would be lovely. Tony has a lot to do for coming up Monday. I did because then I went ahead and put the ones that I've been tagged on on it. Okay. So that was We're going to print our visitor logs ourselves for Monday. Have it on a clipboard. Well, I know where it is. I don't um, have any visitors coming anyway. Okay. You know. But I want everybody to have it and have it up and have your name on it because we do have walk-ins. I need to go by ink. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I might, my computer's not printing. I'll, um, I'll print one for you, Mrs. Bruno. Oh. I'm not going to need my next one. So, yeah, you will. You need it every day. Okay. What, what happens is those walk-ins, there's a couple of things that happen. Current, well, I, I turned off the one on Jackrabbit. We were having three places where somebody can re request a preview. They can do it at KI, which then that's sometimes you get that email that mm -hmm. says, mm -hmm. Susie Jones mm -hmm. is visiting your 930 class. Yeah. Right. So um, that doesn't drop to me. I think it might drop to Katie, but I don't see that. So if they did it, so, you know, same as they'll literally bring it up and go, oh, I can do that this morning. You know, we had that mom that came this summer who did that. She literally had signed up to visit to do a, a preview on the, the KI day. site that day and showed up. So here she is, and you know, Angela's looking at me, and I'm looking at her, and we're, and we're like, yeah. I don't know. Hi, welcome. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Welcome to the last summer camp. <laughs> who are you? <laughs> but she moved. I know. Um, or she's coming back. I should say she's coming back to visit the appropriate age group for her because it was a wiggle and grow family style and she's more of a single play kiddo aged. Anyway, so there's that. Then if they go to our website, they can actually fill out a preview request, which drops in my inbox. So I see it. I know they're coming. Now on Jackrabbit, before I turned it off, they could also choose their class to be a trial instead of actually register. So we have three people that are trials by way of that. And one of them is the person who's a kinder music person that you guys were talking about, you and Lisa were talking well, about. Well, Emily, our, it, she's not, but her sister is, right? What do you mean yeah. she's a kinder music teacher? Her sister is a kinder music teacher. Right? Oh. So, like, and I emailed and I said, hey, I It's Emily sit. Gashke. Remember Daniel that rode with yeah, us on the trolley? Course, it's his yeah. wife's sister. So I had oh. even emailed and she's said, I tell. I noticed that you signed up for a trial, and she did not reply. But anyway, so that I turned that off now, so that if they're on our, if they go through the registration page, if they've gotten that far, they have to register, as opposed to go, oh no, I'll just trial, do a trial oh, for now. So there are. Honey, three. you're getting good, man. To figure out how to turn things off and on and stuff. No, oh, there's I'm sure lots still left to do, but mm -hmm. I, yeah, I went back and found that because I, I remember I saw that somewhere. You know, can you trial this class? And originally it was like, oh yeah, of course we want you to, but it's just another place. So anyway, and um, those three people I can see that who has signed up for three trials this week. Um, so anyway, so use your Trello for your leads. Um, if you, um, you know, know that they're enrolling, if you know. So if they enroll your, so if they have previewed and Tawny has them in the leads board and has all their information, then they should have a card that has all their information. And then if they, then it's your job to follow up with them. So let's talk about the, in terms of Trello, is it their job then to move the lead card in Trello? So we decided that the one time you would touch that leads board in Trello would be on the teacher follow-up um, place. So the teacher, where right. it says so there's one that says scheduled and then attend preview teacher, teacher follow up not yet enrolled. So after they come to the class, you take you take it from the scheduled preview and move it to that right. attended the preview and put your notes in there. Right. right. So huh? when you have followed up with them, you've done that task, then you move it over to attended preview. Okay. So then I know okay. They attended Barbara's class, and so now I can follow it. Because and then what, you do that next column. Then I move it, mm -hmm. then I do it there. Because what happens is if I'm like, oh, hey, um, how did you attend, how was your preview? And they say, I didn't come. Right. Oh, well, don't I, don't we look silly that we don't know that you Should didn't Should I say come. that teacher followed up, maybe? Does that, is that more clear? Attended preview, teacher followed up. So that sure. if they're in or that teacher follow up complete, because yeah. like I'm yes. says, yeah, yes. I think that's better, better too, because mm -hmm. that is a little misleading. Are you changing that or mine? Oh, you can. Um, teacher follow up complete. 
What about in the checklist on the card? On this card? On the lead on, card? On the lead mm -hmm. card itself. That's the person's So card. that's, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to check off, like the one that says tag staff member teacher so they're notified teacher records lead on visitor log. When I record that lead on my visitor log, should I check that off? You can. Or do you check it off when you yeah. tag me? I mean, we just, yeah, I mean, we made those checklists to just try to come to right. figure out the yeah, flow. Yeah, I, I was never sure what you're supposed to mark off. Yeah, by the way. I mean, I think I'm you like, can. Yeah, I think I would go when I would do that. If I moved it, I would check off. I would say, well, if a lead attends a previous science visitor log, well, then all that other stuff must have been done. But I wouldn't necessarily have to go back and try to, you know, check yeah, something that yeah, wasn't yeah. checked off. But so yes. the leads contacted enrolled no preview. That's your thing, Tommy, right? Right. Right, like I wouldn't know if they signed your visitor log, so I can't really check that off. I don't know sure. that. Um, so, and yeah, I was more looking up above that though. Gotcha. I was reading the link. So, are we moving the tile to the mm -hmm. attended yes. preview? If yes. they came, we move the tile. When you okay. follow so up, so I know they came. Got when it. you follow up, okay, though, perfect. If you moved it, it means you followed up and they mm -hmm. attended the preview. Got it. And I've tried to get in the habit of saying to my leads too, like, oh, we'll, I'll send you an email and, you know, I'll try to have contact with them, talk to them, have any right. questions, and you'll be getting an email from me and kind of. Okay. And then that's a good place to make a note, like, I'm sure they're going to join. Or that way, then mm -hmm. if they haven't, right. Tawny was like, well, what, what's the deal here? Or seems hesitant about, I mean, that kind of information is really useful, you know, seems hesitant about. Are you on that board, Shelly? I'm on that board. Oh, I, board. I just didn't know if I'm like, do we ever put, it's not, I know it's not something you need to be, but I think it's the kind of thing you like. I do, I'm listening. If, <laughs> no, I know you are, but I mean, I just didn't know. I was looking here, just, it looks like you're maybe not on the board. And then okay, if I look at that and okay, I know that they were okay, supposed good. to preview this I wasn't week. being, I was just thinking, oh, no. this is the kind of, like, don't you think the process is cool? Yes, yeah, this is pretty cool. awesome. I mean, it's just. It is. Once yeah. you know how to use it, mm -hmm. how to move like the tiles. Right. Yeah, I like that name, tiles. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, that's what they call them cards. cards. You call they them call cards, them cards. Yeah, they call them cards. I think of them as I tiles for some okay. reason. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So that way, too, then if they have not attended the preview, they were supposed to. I look, so I, like, I know I have these 10 people that are coming this week. So if I go back and look on Friday and see, oh, well, those people didn't get moved over to attended preview, then... I follow up with them and go, hey, Susie, I see that you weren't able to join us this week. You know, can we come? Can we have you come next week? You know, was there so that then I can follow up? On, like when we when you guys were doing all your, your talking about singing and things, which wasn't pertinent to me. So then last night I was sitting there and I tech, I emailed every single one of those folks again those and just people. said, looking forward to seeing you this week. <laughs> so in case they booked the preview four weeks ago and have totally <laughs> forgotten about it, <clears throat> trying to give them a little nudge, like, remember... You right. say you're coming this mm -hmm. week, so just trying to follow up. If they don't come, then I can, and then they realize we did miss them. This is important to us. We are sorry you didn't come visit. Why was that? Why, what can mm -hmm. we do to arrange a new visit for you? Anyway, so um, make sure you do that. Um, uh, let's see. Payments, and we talked a little bit about this on Jackrabbit um, yesterday. Most payments are going through Jackrabbit, but there are some folks that are still going to hand you a check or cash. Um, I still get cash sometimes that gets separated from a little piece of paper or whatever that went with it. And so I'm looking at like these $65 and have no idea who this goes to. Um, so um, uh, I bought a ton of sticky notes. So there should be sticky notes in your little setup tray. Make sure you have them. Sticky it. And then also if you have a paper clip, because sometimes we have money coming in for a variety of reasons, like maybe it's a t-shirt, mm -hmm. maybe it's tuition. So like the sticky notes on the top bill, so I know that $20 goes to Susie Jones, but if it's t-shirt money, like is it Susie Jones' t-shirt money, or you know who does this other 15, 20 you know, dollars go to? So try to keep all the money in one spot. And I thought we weren't supposed to put any money or check anywhere without it being in one of those plastic envelopes. Plastic right? I mean, I bag. Never put and, it in right, and I love and adore envelope. you, but like when you say, oh, here, I have a check, and you put it in my hand, yeah, <laughs> that's really, that's just not, yeah. we should I mean, because then it's like, okay, so now what do I do with that? Yeah, so, so I mean, I think if you had a check and Tawny was sitting there and it had a post-it note on it and it said what it was, 
I mean, not in the hallway. No, but it's sitting at your desk. I'm giving to you when you're sitting at your desk. Oh, yeah, at my desk. But, like, just, no, like, in travel, home. like, you know, no. then I'll be like, okay, then, you know, I, if I'm you walking around with pocket. it or I put it in my pocket or I set it board. somewhere, and I'm like, oh. Yeah. But does everybody have those, does Molly have those little plastic envelopes? Everybody should have one in their mailbox. Mm -hmm. um, um, and then if people say to you, oh, I need to give so-and-so my credit card number. Like I sent letters out to people whose credit card numbers weren't um, working a couple weeks ago or that we needed updated information if I knew that. So if they say that to you, oh, I need to, it's like, oh, well, you know what? You can do that on the portal. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you don't need to send them to my office to give them their credit card. Like, right. no, you can do that on the portal. Yeah. Now, I suspect I have some grandparents who are still going to want to yeah. do that, like the littles, like Casey and Meredith. Mm -hmm. like or they, you know, they haven't done it on the portal. So I suspect that's going to be like, oh, I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm, not, I'm not comfortable Grandpa with that. Jim. Grandpa Jimmy, I, I contacted Becca, Rebecca, Beck, not Becca, um, Angie, and said, how, do, how are we doing this? Because he typically pays. She hasn't answered me. Oh, his, oh he'll probably pay the first um, <laughs> Mailboxes. Um, please, I know some of you kind of like to zip in, like right before your classes. Please check your mailbox before you teach. And if you're a morning and an afternoon, then check it again in the afternoon before you teach. Because sometimes you know, I've had a communication with a parent. It's like, oh, yeah, I'll put that in your teacher's mailbox. You'll get that in class this week. Well, if you haven't gone your mailbox until after you teach, then they're not going to get that. Um, so you will be We've more... gotten in the habit of being a little bit spoiled where Tony is concerned. Oh, gosh, we expect yeah. her to put it in our hands and put it on our teaching table and put it on our... I mean, and I'm raising my hand well, as guilty too. as charged. I hardly time. ever go check my mailbox. So, Except when I do, it's always full of all kinds of stuff that doesn't belong to me. So, mm -hmm. like sponges and stuff. I'm like, yellow bowl. A yellow bowl, that blue that yellow star bowl. sponge that you gave me. Okay, I'm like, so. I'm not I don't know. I think it must be something on the top for some, because those things have sat on the top. So I don't know how they get into your They're mailbox. In my mailbox. Because Lisa was like, "Then geez. fill the candy bowl, please, Barbara." Uh, the you would have told me that. <laughs> so anyway, so let's let's pinky swear to be down. good again about yeah. our mailboxes and checking yeah. our mailboxes and right and putting things in my mailbox. Yeah, instead of just yeah, on the, the desk. The desk and becomes and kind of a dumping ground. Yeah, like here's a broken instrument, here's a this, here's a that. And then if you've sat like this check on the desk, because you were there on Monday, you know, early morning or whatever, and then somebody else said something else, and then here's an empty water bottle, and then here, <laughs> and then, yeah, I may not find that, you know, till I come in, or then it gets caught with something else, or the sticky note stuck to something else. So in my mailbox is, is great. But again, don't put checks. One time I literally found. Barbara Fogel's check, she, I kept saying, um, Barbara, you know, I don't have any tuition for you yet, and, you know, Fogel's are lovely people, and I, you know, so, she's like, you know, I, I am sure, I'm sure, let me check with Mike, I'm sure he brought a check in, and, like, you know, I don't have it, so then sometimes I'll put that, so, anybody have a check, anybody have a check I haven't received, it was literally shoved up against the back wall of my late mailbox. Yeah. Because um, it was just a check that got laid into my mailbox, and then something else got pushed in, and I just happened to bend down, and there was Barbara Fogel's check stuck in the back of my mailbox. I hope it wasn't mine, but I'm usually pretty diligent about putting it in the yeah. envelope. So in an envelope, care, you know, if you don't, money. if you don't have one, because like I will take them then, and they put go in my bag mm -hmm. for when I do checks. Um, so if you're looking for one, bottom drawer of my desk. Pull it out. Usually, that's where the left hand out. like file drawer mm -hmm. down the very bottom, like the desk part where I sit. Mm -hmm. But then there's also like paper envelopes behind mm -hmm. in those drawers. So just put it in stuff. Does it. everybody? Did we make one for Molly with her name on it? Um, uh, do you have one with me. your name on it? Mine doesn't have my name. I on have it. one. Mm -hmm. doesn't so it's nice to have one with your name on it because then if you have one with your name, does that have your name? No, on this one doesn't. But if you have one with your name on it, then when Tawny empties that, she'll return it to your mailbox. Right. Nice. So I'm like, like okay, I have it, but I'm. So not if sure you have one, one, missing one now. I don't go know. ahead and write your name I'm on it. Like, missing. so when you go to do one, if you don't have one with your name on it, just so that Tawny doesn't have to. Write right. your name on it so you have at least one with your name on it. Some of the ones that you'll find were the zipper ones we used for tickets for the fundraiser. And so yeah. we had put a sticker on it with your name. So Don't, it was like, yeah. oh, well, cool, that one has, that says Lisa. So I'm just going to put that back in Lisa's mailbox. So, um, but just, you know, if you don't have one of those, there are.